Helen Bond and I'm a state registered dietitian. I'm also a mum to three children. I know from speaking to many of my fellow mums and also the patients that come and see me in clinic, they're often bewildered by the different information on food labels in the form of lists, symbols and claims. Nutrition labelling doesn't need to be confusing, so today I'm going to take you through the common stumbling blocks when looking at food labels, give you my top tips and hints to make better informed choices about the types of food you and your family are eating as part of a balanced diet. As a dietitian, I truly believe that eating a balanced diet starts when you're in the supermarket and what you put in your shopping basket. So let's get started with the essentials and look at the three different types of food and drink labelling. So firstly, nutritional information at the back of a pack. It is now compulsory for all food and drink manufacturers to provide detailed nutritional information on pretty much all types of foods and drinks. Now you'll usually find this as a panel or a grid at the back of a pack of food or it could be at the side of a pack. This type of food label will list the major nutrients in a food product in a particular order. Energy, in the, usually in the form of calories, fat, saturate, so saturated fat, carbohydrates, which include starchy carbohydrates and also sugars, then the sugars, protein and salt. All of this information has to be provided per 100 grams or per 100 ml if it's a liquid but it may also be provided per portion size, which can be really useful. Nutrition labels can also provide information how that portion of food can contribute to your daily reference intake and indeed how that fits into your daily diet. The next place to look is the ingredients list. This is one of the easiest places to find out exactly what has gone into your food. It lists all the ingredients in a particular food in a particular order starting with the highest quantity ingredient first, right the way down to the lowest quantity ingredient. Contrary to what you may have heard, there is no hidden ingredients in food. If it contains natural sugars, for example, found in fruits or vegetables, or indeed if it contains sugar from the sugar bowl, it will be listed in the ingredients. If it's not in the ingredients list, it is not in the food. And finally, front of pack labelling. Looking at front of pack labelling will give you at a glance view of some really important nutrients. For example, per portion you'll be able to see the calories, fat, saturates, sugars and salts and how that portion contributes to the reference intake of an average adult. Some nutrition labels will have the traffic light colours overlaid the nutritional information. This is worked out based on the nutritional information per 100 grams. Generally, green and amber are better everyday food choices, whereas you should be saving the reds for an occasional treat or in smaller portions. Don't forget that the traffic light system is quite simple in its design. And as a dietitian, I want to get away from the red means stop and the green means go concept. Let's try and think about this portion of food as a whole food and how it fits in your daily diet. If there's no traffic light system available, or you can't see the colours clearly, you can always use the detailed reference intake information, or indeed look at the per 100 grams at the back of a pack. I hope that I have shown you how reading labels and understanding what is in your food and drink can help you make better informed choices about yours and your family's diet. Thank you.